Hello YouTube, it's me John and you, how are you? And today we're going to be talking about Goldilocks and the Three Bears, comparing it to the real world. Okay, let's get started, okay? Uh, while I'll be reading the story, I'll pause at certain times to talk about what's so stupid about this freaking story. And one more thing, while I'm reading the story, I'm going to be using my Hermione Granger accent. Hello everyone, it's me Hermione Granger. It's Yes, that's my Hermione Granger accent. Don't make fun of it. Anyways, let's get started. The story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Goldilocks. And pause. Okay, to the ratchet parents who named the little girl Goldilocks, seriously? Why? Why Goldilocks? Girl, if your name is Goldilocks out in the real world, you need to change your name because a lot of people is going to make fun of you, a lot of people is going to bully you, and you're going to have to go suicide yourself later on. I'm just saying. Okay, change your name. Let's continue. She went for a walk in the forest and paused. Again, seriously, you went for a walk in the forest by yourself. A little girl in a forest. Uh, do you know how big a forest is? Girl, you're gonna get lost, you're gonna get killed, you're gonna be ravenous by a bunch of wolves and everything. You're gonna die, bitch. You're gonna die. I suggest that you don't walk into the forest alone. Bring an adult with you that actually knows the way back home. Let's continue. Pretty soon she came upon to a house. She knocked and when no one answered, she walked in. And freaking damn pause again. Let me just say something. When someone does not answer the door, does not mean you get to walk in to the door. It does not mean you get to break and enter their door, okay? That is breaking and entering. Kids at home don't ever break and enter someone else's door just because it's unlocked. Oh yeah, that comes to another thing. Why the hell did you leave your door unlocked? I mean, that's not safe. I don't know who the hell does that. It's not, that's not good. You need to start locking your doors from now on because you don't know who might come into your house and steal everything you have. Um, sorry, I just kind of spoiled this story for you guys. Just saying. And let's continue. At the table on the kitchen, there were three bowls of porridge. Goldilocks was hungry, so she tasted the porridge in the first bowl. Oh, it was too hot! So she tasted the porridge from the second bowl. This porridge is too cold! So she tasted the last bowl, and it was just right! And pause. Girl, you are too picky. Your parents have been spoiling you way too much. Parents, whoever has the name Goldilocks, or parents all over the world, stop spoiling your kids. Your kids does not have to be picky like this. If I have a child and they were picky like this, I'll be like, take it or leave it. Because seriously, I am not cooking you anything anymore if you keep on doing this to me. Hail to the no. Uh-uh. You, you people need to stop spoiling your kids, okay? Spoiling, 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 spoiling your kids is a very bad thing. Look how I turned there. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just here doing videos talking about how the story is so stupid and everything. <gasps> Such a great career! Oh! <laughs> Let's continue. After she eaten the three bears' breakfast, she decided she was feeling a little tired. So she walked into the living room and she saw three chairs. Oh, this chair is too big! She exclaimed. So she sat on the second chair. Oh, this chair is too big too. Oh, so she sat on the little chair. Oh, this chair was just right. And pause. I don't understand this point of the story right here. Where she said, oh, this chair's too big. But she sat on it. If the Okay, if the chair was too big for you, how are you able to get up on the chair and sit on it? I, mean, I don't understand that. I mean, like, if it's too big for a little girl, how did she sit on the freaking damn chair? The second one, it was too big too. How the hell did you sit on it, huh? She sat on all three chairs. How is that little one just right for her? I don't understand that. I mean, like, if you can sit on a chair, it's just right for anyone. And continue. Goldilocks was very tired by this time. And pause. Okay, so she came into the door, ate the food, sat on a chair. Okay, she was tired after that. Girl, you need to get that checked. You need to go see a doctor. Because, um, ain't nobody done that can get tired. Unless you were not really... 
You were not really a little girl. You were an old lady who didn't know better. Because if it was an old lady in the story instead of Goldilocks, I would totally understand. My grandma does so much weird things. I'm just saying. And continue. So she went upstairs into the bedroom. She lay down in the first bed, but it was too hard. Then she laid in the second bed, but it was too sore. And then she laid in the third bed. It was just right. And pause. Eating food and sitting in chairs is one thing, but sleeping in someone else's bed? Why? That is so freaking creepy. Oh my gosh. To think that the burglar broke into my house and then ate all the food, sat in our chairs, but then slept in our bed? Oh, hell no. I'm calling the cops after the bed. Because hell no. What the freaking hell is wrong with you? That is not right. And continue. And then Goldilocks fell asleep. And as she was sleeping, the three bears came home. Someone been eating my porridge, growled the papa bear. Someone been eating my porridge, said the mama bear. Somebody's been eating my porridge and they eating it all up, cried the baby bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna stop right there. Oh my God, this is gonna go on forever. Oh, okay, someone's been eating my porridge. Someone's been eating my porridge. Someone's been eating my porridge, but she ate it all up. Okay, this children's story is stupid, okay? You don't need to repeat so much. People, we already know what's been going on, okay? Okay, they just come in with it. Oh, someone's been eating an hour porridge. Use your words correctly so we don't have to go through all this crap. Oh, someone's been sitting in our chairs. Oh, save us so much freaking damn time. And then they decided to look around some more when they got upstairs to the bedroom. Papa Bear growled somebody, okay. Or they could have just said, Ooh, somebody's been sleeping in our beds. Okay, I know this is a point for um, little kids, but come on, little kids, we, this is basically dumbing us down, okay? We need something to build us up. We need something to make us smarter, okay? Not like, ooh, somebody's been sleeping in that bed. Ooh, somebody's been sleeping in this bed. Someone's been sleeping in all the other beds. We need a saying saying, oh, she slept in all the beds. Oh, such a simple sentence could make so much sense. This story is pissing me off, okay? And let's continue. And just then, Goldilocks woke up and saw the three bears. She screamed, help! And she jumped up and ran out of the room. Goldilocks ran down the stairs, opened the door, and she ran away into the forest. And she never returned to the home of the three bears. And pause again, even though it's the end. She ran into the forest and never saw the bear's home again. I'm pretty sure she never saw the bear's home again. Maybe she saw the wolf's home, or the eagle's nest, or the uh, or freaking panthers or something, okay? People, you don't just run into a forest. I'm just saying. Overall, the whole story, the moral for it, I believe is don't break into other people's house and steal all their things, and um, don't run into a freaking damn forest by yourself. That is dangerous and not fun. Do you know how many spiders and insects are there? Oh my gosh, no, uh-uh, no. Okay, that's all I have to say because seriously, I'm about to be late for my class. So, if you like this video, please give it a good thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe. Okay, bye-bye, y'all.